So here we are at our FPNA demo uh, for Axolytix. And we use this demo both for demonstration purposes. And then there's also a component to this that we feel like can be plug and play into lots of different organizations. So here we are, we're on our navigation menu. You'll see on the right, there's some reporting capabilities. There's also some cost spend planning. Um, and we'll get into those topics in, in other webinars as well. Today, we're really gonna focus on that left panel and that's, that's revenue planning. So here we've got four levels of the hierarchy that are represented as revenue planners. So L4, we think of as this is branch level or product level. The advantage to a product like a platform like Anaplan is that these hierarchies are so flexible. So here we have this structured in terms of a branch level rolling up to a country, rolling up to a region, rolling up to a global entity. It's also possible that this hierarchy should be structured in terms of product A, B, and C, rolling up to a product family, rolling up to a product line, rolling up to the global entity. The ability to make those changes in Anaplan is, this is really a 10 minute exercise, not an entire organization change. If that exists in the raw data, then we're able to create these hierarchies very quickly. So the structure to this model is, is certainly customer or branch rolling up to region, um, but there is enormous flexibility in this product for that to look like something else. So here on this L4 level sales planning uh, dashboard, we can see here two prior year sales. We have a monthly organization of this year, prior year sales, and then we have this line of statistical forecast. These are all just function as suggestions for really what becomes the, the plan number at the L4 level. And there's really even more possibilities for that, um, for what this L4 level plan actually is. So I'm gonna open up this statistical calculations dashboard. And here we have by branch, the ability to make selections based on the numbers down here. So we, we have here are six different uh, scenarios or ways to calculate the L4 level revenue plan. And really this can be used at all levels, right? So the, this same kind of statistical modeling here, this could be applied from you know, L4, L3, L2, all the way up to the executive level. Um, and here we have an actual, we have a mean scenario, we have standard deviation, linear regression, and previous year percentage growth. So by each one of these branches, so as the user of this, I could be either I could be the owner of branch A and I could come in, I could select the linear regression and use that as a recommendation that then feeds back into my L4 level plan. Or as perhaps I run the country of Norway and then I'm deciding within the branch beneath that, this is what all of the revenue planning statistical calculations should be. So let's say at branch A, let's go back to the L4 level plan. I've suggested this linear regression model and let's go back there. So now this is that number in January 21 here. This is the statistical forecast that was selected on the previous dashboard. So if I wanna use this, I can just copy that line, paste that directly into my sales override and that becomes my new current year sales plan. Could also keep original plan by just selecting this and that resorts back to my original plan. And in this way, I really have a numbers based approach to at the lowest level, how I create my, my revenue plan. So I've chosen this statistical forecast. This is this based on the method on the previous dashboard. This is what I'm going to use to create my L4 level plan that will then trickle up through the organization. So now as we move to L3, this is a different type of user, right? So if we look to our hierarchies up here, now we, we lose that L4 branch level and now we're at the Norway level. So this has already consolidated all of those L4 level plans and brought them up to this level. So now I can make decisions based on that L4 level and I can choose to override values here. Yeah, and as Stephen is demonstrating that, the reality that we see with many finance organizations is 
the the levels that we're illustrating here from L4 to L3 up to L2 through the through the hierarchy that that's been built in here if you think about that in the real world oftentimes each level consists of many different groups of spreadsheets then that are passed back and forth via a manual workflow you know for approvals or changes or feedback along the way and this is all done seamlessly there's an understanding of what a top-down target would be and then it allows time to introduce more advanced capabilities that Stephen illustrated around statistical forecasting that you could not do passing spreadsheets around. And really we see this across all types of organizations. And this is certainly true in revenue planning, but we see the same kind of exercise um, anytime where there's frequent updates to a plan. And just this ability to have multiple levels of planning consolidated into one platform where changes are tracked. So I could drill down in here and I can see the history within this cell. So I could know as I make this change to this cell, I can see, okay, Mike also went in here. Mike made a change on this date. Now Mike and I can have a conversation about this date. We know where the cell is uh, and we know that we're both operating on the latest and greatest data um, that we've created. So same kind of thing as we move up the hierarchy here. So L4 is complete. We chose the linear regression model for Norway. We've moved that up to L3 now. We've made light changes. Um, sales plan looked good from the L4 level. That's what we're choosing to go with. And now we can continue to move up the hierarchy as we get to a region. So now here, same kind of structure. So instead of, if I look back to my hierarchy, now I'm the owner of Europe. So the L4 level is complete. That's been sent up to the country level. That's all been consolidated at the Europe level. And this is a place that really requires no work, right? So now um, all of that plan has already been created. Now, if I want to make light changes again, hope I'm right with zeros there. Okay, revenue plan looks good. Sales number override brought slightly up. And now the, the planning at that L2 level is mostly complete. So if I need to send this and create the overall plan, that then rolls up to this executive sales review dashboard. So here now I can see at this level, I've really married up all levels of the plan. So I can see two prior years of sales, a prior year of sales, the bottoms up level plan, as that rolled up into L3 and L2, the manager adjusted plan. And now I can start to apply either dollar overrides or percentage overrides to those numbers. And this really becomes a conversation. So the, the planning really doesn't stop here then, right? So now there is this, in Q1, we've decided we want 5% growth based on that manager adjusted plan. And now that becomes a conversation that trickles back down to the managers of how that 5% gets distributed. Does that enable things like promotions that need to be enacted in different regional levels, right? It's identification of where maybe certain branches, countries, regions are lagging and how that 5% can be made up. What are the strategies that need to be enacted by the organization to achieve that? And the beauty of a tool like Anaplan to be able to do this is as Stephen mentioned, it creates those conversations. It creates that level of engagement. You're not passing spreadsheets. You're not sending emails back and forth. It creates information right in front of you, passed up to different levels with different levels of approval. The workflow is there and it creates that mechanism for your organization to have the right conversations to get to a plan that everybody's bought into and engaged with. The last piece that I want to mention here is that throughout all of those levels of the hierarchy from L4 up through L3 and all the way to the executive sales review that we're on here. This also includes the actuals in it. So this is linked directly to the source systems. And just through a click of the button, these actuals are updated from source systems um, and all throughout the hierarchy, everyone's operating with the latest and greatest sales plan as well as actuals feeding that. Um, we also have functionality in here that will right into the forecast, the actuals numbers. So for, for previous years. 
We hope that this was a useful demonstration of multiple level planning in the Anaplan platform. Look forward to continuing the conversation if there's greater functionality that you'd like to see in Anaplan for this purpose.